What's up? Welcome to another episode of VDR Fishing. I have some awesome things in store for y'all this video. This is actually a tournament video. Me and my buddy Chance hit the riv and go fishing for some awesome fish. And it's a tournament, you already know. So I don't want to waste any time because this is going to be an awesome action packed video. Let's just get right into it. Yo, good one. All right, let's see if this buzz bait I made last. I actually made this buzz bait. Like legit, took apart three buzz baits and made this. So if it absolutely sucks, it's on me. It's actually not garbage. Oh, told you they're up in these trees. I about slipped. <laughs> All right, yep, yep. All right, I know what I'm doing today. Whenever you know it's in here. Mm hmm. Got him. Got him. Yep, good one. Not that good. Guess my drag was loose. But that will do the day. Number one. In the Parker's bag, son. Thank you. On the tree. Is that your bullish pump? All right. Well guys, I was just gonna talk about my spinner bait, but anyway, this is a half ounce booyah spinner bait. I changed the blades out, put bigger ones on here, and caught a fish, and he was stripping drag out. Not a good sign. <laughs> Bro, I thought the way he hit that thing, I thought he was huge. Well, I mean like, I mean, ain't nothing coming here and shoot six. Oh. That might be like questionable, questionable 12, questionable 12 guys. But another fish to say the least, and he absolutely destroyed this little whatever I'm throwing. What'd you say this was called, Chance? Speed worm. Speed worm. Speed worm. See, I don't even know what I throw half the time. I just buy what looks good. <laughs> That's the way to get out of these sometimes. Let's see what there is. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, I mean... What is it? A, I mean, look at this. This is questionable. Uh, no. No. We don't need you anyway. We're going to catch 15 pounds today. Well... Y'all saw it. The fish might want to bite. They might want to bite, guys. Oh, that's not bad. He's a good dog, bro. I love him. Oh, there he is. That was a good that was fish. A big that was a big one. He ate it before it even landed out the water. All right, I think they're starting to heat up. Yeah, no, this is a good color. Green, pumpkin, blue. Oh, this catch it. Tiny dinks. 
I'm just gonna let them eat it. I think they're being real like finicky. Yeah. So I think we're just gonna have to like slow it down. I knew that cold front was gonna do it to them today. I think if we capitalize on the net on like the, the good bites. Like I did not need to lose that two pounder back there, but five good ones. There he is. I'm done. He came off. <laughs> All right, guys. So it's official. Brad's garbage. I'm actually gonna put the spinning rod away. I think it's the spinning rod's fault. Screw spinning rods. That's why I just talk so highly about them to Chance and telling him he needs to get in the spinning rod gang. That's just a lie. Don't listen to me. I just, I've literally lost four fish on them. That was a good fish too. Yeah. All right. I'm picking back up the speed worm, guys, and let's go to work. All right, guys, this is how I'm rigging up a shaky head. Let me go over it real quick. So I'm using these VMC shaky head hooks with the screw lock. And what you do is you take it, your trick worm or your shaky head worm, you just screw it on there. You know, and you take it and go pop, pop. Good to go. All right, guys, I'm actually gonna go up on the shoulder motor. Wow, first time. <laughs> no, I'm good. Now, if you start catching them in the back, I might. You know what I'm saying? Well, then, you want me to catch them, then you can get on the throw, man. Is that how you'll catch them? That's how I'll catch them. That's Are you I serious? You can ask Jake. I put Jake on the throw, man. Do you want me to be on the throw, man? I would love it if you got on the throw, man. Well, sure. I'll move my rods up here. I honestly fish better in the front. <laughs> I just literally go say. I can't fish worth crap in the front. Cause I focus on the trolling. I focus more on the trolling motor. Oh. Well, all right. So one way you can improve on that is getting the lower, like the tray to lower the thing down. Yeah. That helps a lot. All right, guys. So I'm gonna teach y'all right here. Quick tip by Captain Brad. I'm going to show you all how to retrieve a bait. So this bait's hung up. What I'm going to do, I've never sent a spinning rod. That was actually a first, and it worked. Wow. Captain Brad showing so many tackle tips today because we're not catching fish. <laughs> all right, let's go catch some fish. Wait. Oh, this reel's destroyed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. I got the sauce one. There he is. Oh! oh my God. That's a big old there. Good lord. All right, guys, I got it. Freaking toad. Why can't this be a bass? I know. I caught one donkey like. You just broke me off. That's exactly what I was gonna tell you to actually pick up. Hold it, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Yes! There's one. All right, monkey's off my back. Ooh, wanted that he must really wanted it. All right, guys, Chance got him one. We got two in the box now. Now I think we can catch fish. Maybe we got the mental confidence of where we can actually catch something now. All right, Chance, they might be turning on in here. What you think? We literally caught three fish in like 30 seconds. Did he crush that crankbait? I 
I really don't think it's going to take much. 10 pounds might win it. A limit might win it. We've had opportunity to have a limit. For sure. I do think we could get it on the way out of here. Do you want to fish or you want to drive it? All right. Them ducks are still raising cane. There you go. Yep. Bass, bass, digging. Or not a pigging, but I mean, he'll keep getting. Yes, sir. All right, so this is the midday update. We got three in the box. This is a tournament morning. Haven't filmed the intro yet. Chances trolling us out of here. We think we might have found the pattern to the fish today. We're throwing a spinner bait, crank bait. What else did we catch that fish on? Spinner bait and crank bait. Spinner bait and crank bait. That's all we're gonna throw the rest of the day. Maybe a Texas rig. And but let me let me show y'all what we're what we're working with here. Like, I'm like look at this. Like, we're going through these tiny canals. This is chance up here. Chance, say hey. What's up, y'all? Chance is chilling. But we're just out here rocking. We're just enjoying life, having a good day. We're not even worried about the tournament. We're just fun fishing. Cause honestly, like, we could have already had two limits by now. Yeah, that's the only way to fish. That's the only way to fish. If you're not having fun, there's no need to fish. Like, that's my goal. But we're gonna actually blast off here, cast off and blast off, and let's get to it. All right guys, so we just got to our second spot. Me and Chance have got a new game plan going on. I'm actually picked up. This is not my preferred cranking rod, but I tied on this little guy. Curve 55, y'all know, it's a dangerous sauce bait. But we're only gonna be throwing, we're gonna cover water, we're only gonna throw moving baits. And only slow down on spots where we feel like we need to slow down on. Because we gotta go get that. Because we only have limited spinner baits. All right guys, we got our safety vest on. We are staying safe out here today. And we just <laughs> got a limit, you know, big things. We out here, finally got them. Now we're just gonna go hunt for big fish, cover new water. We think we know the pattern, like literally we've only caught fish on three baits, on two baits today. We've not caught a single bass on a Texas rig. Have you, is that a first for you on the river? Yeah, it is. So, I mean, it's happened to me a couple times before because I don't put down the crankbait most days, but we're gonna make it happen and we're actually think we have a chance to win this tournament. Um, I'm like, super excited. Hopefully we can get a couple key more bites. Like Chance had a really nice bass earlier swipe at his bait and it didn't want to react to it again. Are we stuck in the mud or are we good? But I wanted to go over something real quick. So we actually had some rods go in the water this morning. I, I might have it on my GoPro, I'm not sure. Chance had a little malfunction. Um, get it, get it, get it, get it. Okay, I had him, I had him. That was a good save. <laughs> I had him though, I was ready. <laughs> I threw the punch rig on him. Then I got a fish on. You got a fish on? Yeah. Alright guys. We got a nest going on. But we're out here, I mean, you, we're, we're, we, we, we're risking it for the biscuit guys. Like, we're not out here just like every other people beating the bank. We are making new roads to fish. So let's let's keep going, keep grinding. I'll catch y'all at the next spot. And wish us luck. Getting seven or eight pounds of fish. And we're doing pretty good. We did a pretty good day. We wish we would have made the decision to stay in our original cut. It's our first guy. Little little guy. 
That's our smallest one. That's a that's a chunker. That's our biggest, I think. Or the biggest is last. Now it's kind of good. That's a good one. I think that one. Which one came on the crankbait? This one? No, that's the spinnerbait one. And we got this one. Quality toad. And if we had five of those, we might have had a chance. And if you guys are new to the channel, you'll see a bunch more of these. Because that's what we do. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that like button, the subscribe button, and also just, just tap that notification bell. Everyone says smash. You got to change it up. Just tap it. Ain't that deep. All right, I'll catch y'all in the next video. I'm out.